have any electric shopping carts, but there's a few janky ones lying around. I could push you in one. I might just take you up on that. But only if the cart's missing a wheel and it smells like piss. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can muster up. Mm -hmm. How long have we been walking? Uh, less than a minute. My feet hurt already. You really do hate walking. I did warn you. <laughs> this hallway is kind of sketch. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Sometimes when I'm by myself, I turn around just to make sure I'm not being followed. Oh my God, imagine if you were. Like, Leatherface was just posted up at the end of the hallway. Like, what's up, bro? Uh, I think I turned into Usain Bolt. That's what I <laughs> <laughs> Not today. See, not me. I am one of those people that would royally piss off the horror movie audience. I just wait to be killed. I mean, what is the point in wasting Leatherface's time giving this illusion that I'm capable of engaging in a foot chase? Nope, just cut me open. I can handle it. Sure about that? Nope. <laughs> this hallway so reminds me of The Shining, though. Yeah, well, if they ever do another remake, they could do it right here. Isn't that infuriating? Another remake? The Shining is one of those films that should never be remade. No one will ever come close to what Jack Nicholson was able to achieve. You were supposed to agree with me? Ah, I'm not really crazy about The Shining. Well, date's over. Oh, well, I just think it's overrated. And before you draw your sword, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. It definitely had its effective moments, but to say it was the greatest horror movie of all time, I just don't see it. That film was style over genuine horror. Plus, Kubrick put his team through hell. If a director can't destroy the mental health of their cast and crew, they shouldn't call themselves a director. That's a problematic statement. So here's what I think. Remakes give filmmakers this opportunity to resurrect previously offered.